This is Actar's Reviews, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar and welcome to another episode of Actar's Merchandise Reviews. In this episode, it is my very first subscription box review. Holy crap! I can't believe that I was approached by Loot Crate to do a review of their Loot Crates. And not just any Loot Crate, but their Loot Anime subscription box. For those who don't know, Loot Crate is a subscription box service. Pay them a subscription fee each month and they will send you a box full of assorted goodies related to popular culture properties. Usually these monthly boxes have a certain theme and the theme for this month's Loot Anime box is Squadron. As implied, we'll be seeing a ton of merchandise to do with military anime and such. Alrighty, let's get right into it. First up, I have to say that I really do appreciate that Loot Crate puts extra detail into their boxes. While many other subscription boxes are blank on the inside or feature very little detail, Loot Crate goes all out and usually the box becomes part of the experience. Full marks for this and we'll be taking a closer look at the box in just a bit. The first item in the box is a t-shirt. This one features the flag of the Empire from the anime gate and it's pretty nifty. Though there's really nothing much to say about this one save for the fact that it has a crest emblazoned on it. A bonus point for not having any obtrusive Loot Crate logos anywhere on the shirt. It is a simple design but because it is simple it works brilliantly. Personally speaking, I thoroughly enjoy these kinds of subtle and surreptitious displays of fandom as it makes it even more surprising and significant if someone is able to understand where the reference is from. For instance, I actually use Enoshima Junko's tie from Danganronpa as my work tie. Even if you're not a fan of the show, the crest's design is appealing enough to be worn and appreciated by anyone in any context. Moving on to the next item, which is also from the anime gate, we have a very interesting multi tool, keeping in line with the survival slash military theme of the show. It looks like a simple keychain slash strap, but in actuality, it's four tools in one. It's a steel carabiner, it's a bottle opener, it's a hex tool, and it has five feet of paracord. It's fitting, convenient, and useful, regardless if you're a fan of the show or not. Next up is my personal favourite item from the box, which is from the show Tai Mado Gakuen Sanjugo Shiken Shoutai. It's Mari's signature scarf. Now this I find really cool, because I'm a huge fan of replicas, and I didn't expect such a big one to come in a subscription box. The size is great, and while the stitching might be a little bit on the obvious side, it's a very nicely done replica slash cosplay item. Colour me impressed! Again, even if you don't know or care about the series, it's still a functional, fashionable scarf that you can use. Following that is the entire first volume of the Ars Nova manga. I've always wanted to get into the series, but I haven't actually taken the time to do so. So this will be a fantastic opportunity for me. And if, just like me, you have no idea what the series is about, this will be a great starting point for you. The next item in the box is a Gundam trading figure from the Assault Kingdom line. As a self-proclaimed otaku, this is going to be a little bit embarrassing for me to admit, but I have never watched a single episode of any Gundam series in my life. Yes, as shocking as that is. I should really fix that soon, but seeing that Gundam is a hugely popular series, this is going to be something that many fans are going to enjoy. Even for a non-fan like me, it's something to add to my ever-expanding collection and something that will look great on the shelf. Next is an absolutely ginormous poster that's not going to be able to fit entirely in frame, featuring what I believe to be original characters doing something related to this month's theme. And on the back is a list of all of the items that come in the box and a short description of all of the shows that they come from. Again, this is supremely important when it comes to anime series that many might not have seen and this is very user friendly and considerate in that regard. And last but not least, we have a commemorative die cast loot anime dog tag. Now the only downside to this is that I really wish that they would have provided a longer strap. As I teased in the beginning, you can turn the box inside out to look like a secure transport briefcase of some kind and you can even store all of the items within it. Kudos for making full use of everything. So in conclusion, 
I'm going to admit right off the bat that I was never a big fan of subscription boxes as one of my main fears and one of the major downsides to subscription boxes is that you never know what you're going to get. However, in this case, we see that regardless of the property, it's nice that most of the items actually have some kind of practical use beyond the immediate fan appeal and I think I'm convinced. In fact, it was this very subscription box that convinced me to check out some of these shows and I'm thoroughly enjoying them, especially Gate. And now, I'm really looking forward to next month's loot anime, which has the theme of Back to School, featuring merchandise from the following shows. Assassination Classroom, Revolutionary Girl Utena, Persona 3, Danganronpa, Fruits Basket, and my personal favourite, Digimon Adventure Try. The deadline to sign up for that loot crate is the 27th of August at 9pm PST. And if you are interested in signing up, I would very much appreciate if you could use my affiliate link in the description below. Aside from loot anime, they have many subscription boxes for you to choose from, including the regular loot crate that focuses on US pop culture and a gaming loot crate that focuses on what else but games. So, this actor saying, see you guys in the next episode.